Hi Sterling, first of all, I want to thank you for the work you do. Your content has really helped me in my relationships with women. Well, you're welcome very much. Thank you very much. I used to settle for average girls, but your advice has helped me to work on myself and build my confidence, which led me to sleep with a couple of models and get my current girlfriend who is a model. Well done, mate. Good for you. So this is my situation. My girlfriend has a best friend that she's open to having threesomes with. We've gone partying, the three of us, and have three-way kissed and touch each other and all that good stuff, but I was in the middle of moving to another place and never got to seal the deal. I know her friend is really open to the threesome too. Even though it was my girlfriend's idea and she was the one that offered me her friend, I know that deep inside she's somewhat jealous and scared I'm going to leave her for her friend. We haven't hung out with her friend for a while now, so I wanted to ask you what would be the best way to get this threesome? Should I take them partying and then back to my place? Or maybe tell her to call her friend to come over in, in a more direct approach? I also want the threesome to be my first of many, so I really want to get my girl to enjoy it and don't feel insecure about it. Thanks, man. This VIP AMA was a really cool idea. Wish you the best. Well, wish you the best, first of all, uh, as well. This is a cool question. I love it. Uh, so I would suggest, here's the thing. If she's actually, a, like, she's somewhat jealous and scared that you're going to leave her for her friend, it's not a bad thing. Um, I'm not saying do it. You, you, it doesn't sound like you're going to do it. Uh, it doesn't sound like you want, if, and if a girl, like, here's the way you kind of reframe it for her in her head. You reframe it into, you, you, you just drop things nonchalantly in conversation. Like, like if a, like, if a woman brings women to her boyfriend, she is never getting dumped. Like, she is, ne like, that's the kind of thing you say. Which is also true, by the way. Like, if a woman is bringing women to her man, like, for them to fuck together, she is instantly, like, queen material. Like, VIP queen. Like, put a, put a ring on your finger and marry you material. Because, like, she is setting herself apart from so many other women. That's the kind of frame, what I just said there. That's the kind of frame you're dropping on her, the kind of things you're dropping on her in random conversation. Whenever it comes up or when it, whenever the opportunity arises to talk about this topic, that's what you're dropping to reinforce that idea. that And to put in her head, like, rather than making it, rather than, because what we've done there is we've flipped this idea of she's afraid of the, the threesome because she's afraid she'll get replaced. We've flipped it to, oh, shit, now she wants to, to pursue the threesome more because she realizes it solidifies her, her position. So it makes her feel more secure in her relationship with you by bringing women into the relationship, which is true, which is what we want. Uh, so how should you pull it off? It sounds like it did, if you guys did a three-way makeout last time uh, by just going out and partying, it sounds like that's a, probably a, a good way to go about it. It depends on what, it sounds like there might have been some time between that that initial um, uh, three-way makeout opportunity and where you didn't pull and now. So, yeah, because women love fun. Women want the fun, right? And unless unless the friend has specifically, this is the one exception to what I'm about to say, unless her friend has specifically said, when are we going to fuck? Like, I want to fuck you too. Like, unless she's been fucking super direct about it, you kind of need to fuck around a bit and take and take her on a date. Not really a date, but like take her, entertain her and bump her up her emotions and shit like this. You can't just go straight to the bedroom so much. I do think um, take, them, take them partying and then take them back to your place is the correct logistical move. Don't party all fucking night because you'll be exhausted and you won't be able to think correctly and pull the logistics off correctly. Keep the partying to like two hours, maybe three max. Less than, probably less than three, like two hours max. Like just drinks, and then pull them back, uh, and have make sure you, the three of you make out before you get back to your place, and then make out, and then back to your place, pour everyone a drink, three way make out, and then start it. The simplest things to start is to have your girl kiss her, and then sexually escalate on your woman, like grabbing her tits, pulling her tits out, that sort of stuff, and grabbing her friend's hand and putting her friend's hand on your, on your friend on your girlfriend's tit. It's like, you're, if they're both shy, maybe you'll find out, you get them back and you make out, and they just fucking jump into it. Fine. Happy days. No problem. If you, that doesn't happen, you're going to have to kind of physically lead it a little bit more. So you want to be the one that kind of initiating what they're doing. It's not about you. Remember that. It's about them. You want to get them going. So it's about you engineering and leading the two of them interacting together while you're kind of also there and interacting with them. Because if they're horny and they're making out and there's a penis around, they're going to grab it. And they're gonna suck it and they're gonna fuck it. It's just gonna happen. So the key to that to it is to get those two like kind of having fun like that. So good luck, my friend. Kick ass. And you'll uh, email me back when you pull this off successfully. I would love to hear the story.